Janet Glenn here to show you the Close to Homes basic July Saturday sampler block. Um, so this month we are going to be working on this unit right here. It's called the Creative Grid Kitty Cornered Unit. Um, it's the same ruler that we did last week for the intermediate class. Um, also, in the past, for basic, we have been finishing our squares at four inch to make a nine patch. Um, so this month, our blocks are gonna get a little bit smaller. We are finishing our squares at three inches. So these are a three inch finished, and our side pieces are a three by six inch finished. And so our four patch of these will be a six by six inch finish center, okay? So we'll get more into that. As long as you can see, I have three units here. I have three units going across the center and then three more. So we're gonna finish it up like a nine patch. All right, so let's go through some of these other basic um, pieces. Um, as we sew our rectangles together to form our sides, we'll have four that are, these are three and a half by six and a half, again, finished three by six. And then these are our kittied cornered units. They measure three and a half, but again, they finish at three, and that's what we want to see. So six of them have a blue, what I'll call an A unit which is the little kite shape, and two of them have the A unit as a green piece of fabric, okay? The blue, four of these blue, have what I call the B units on the sides. These are, four of them have the green, two of the blue A's have white for the B's, and now my greens also have white for the B's. So I'll get into the A's and the B's in a second and the makeup of the actual ruler and how to make the unit. Let's go through the cutting a little bit on our kit. Always make sure that you put best press on your kits fabrics and iron them before you cut anything, okay? So the orange is very simple. All we did was um, cut our piece of going across six and a half inches wide, and then we're gonna cut it into four two-inch strips. The green, we have another rectangle. We're gonna cut that into a four and a quarter and a four and a quarter. And then we're gonna cut them into uh, three inch units. So these are rectangles. And then we're going to trim down the four and a quarter down to be a four by four. And we'll take two green squares that are four by four. Okay. The blue, again, a four inch. Uh, so you can cut a four inch strip, four inch strip, and basically all you're trying to get are six four inch squares out of the blue. Okay, make sure they're nice and square. The white fabric, couple different cuts here. The white, you're gonna cut your long strip six and a half inches wide. And again, four two inch stripes or two inch strips, just like the orange. Those are for the sides. And then we're gonna cut this down to a three inch strip and another three inch strip and subcut those into four and a quarter wide. Again, four rectangles that are three inch by four and a quarter. And all the cutting um, that you need are on your directions, okay? So what I'm gonna do now um, is show you the ruler. It's called the Creative Grid Kitty Cornered Ruler. And if you go to the Creative Grid website and search for the Kitty Corner, they not only have another copy of the directions, but they have a fabulous video that shows you the different um, things that you can make with this, as well as the instructions on how to use it again. So um, if you um, are, you know, can't find my video, for instance, please go to the Creative Grid and find it there. So let's break down the ruler. It's built, it's uh, set up by step one, two, three, and then trim. So the A units, like I was talking about, the little kite shapes, 
use step one, this corner, and then the rectangles that we're going to be using for the B shape are placed into step two and then get trimmed on step three. So two and three are both for the B units that we're cutting. And then after we're done sewing and pressing, we're going to come to this corner and we're going to trim it to size. So it'll be perfectly our three and a half unfinished, three finished. Okay. So if you look at all my cutting, the ones that I, I showed you on the chart behind me, um, you'll notice that my A units are all square. And another great thing about the ruler is when you're cutting the A units, the finished size block is, is um, down the left-hand side. Um, and then how big to cut your squares to make those A's are right here on the ruler. And you can literally make sizes anywhere from one inch to six inches finished. So a great variation on this block, lots of different sizes, lots of things you can do with it. The B units are made out of rectangles. So again, you look for the finished block size. Ours is three, and we know to cut three by four and a quarter, which I gave you in your directions. So our rectangles are here. Remember, we needed greens and whites, and our A units are blues and greens. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to take our squares that we cut four inches and what we're going to do is we're going to fold them on the diagonal and we're just going to give those a little press. All right, so let me just run over to the iron real quick and when I press these I'll press all of the squares at one time. I'll just line up my corner right here at the point. I'll just kind of put my finger on it and then press just a light press just enough to keep to hold it. Okay, so remember, these squares, these are our A units or our kite shapes. So we'll take our, our ruler, and what we're going to do is we're going to place the fold of our A units, our squares, and we're going to line the point right up with the top of the ruler and the fold right along this dashed line. So depending on how big your square is, it's going to fall along that line. Okay, so I'm going to move the dotted line along the fold, meeting up at the top. And that's all you need to do for the A units. Okay, so here's my, my A. So we're going to need six blues and two green, okay? But I'm just going to work with one at, for now, okay? So six blues, two greens, all done with the A's. All right, so the next thing I want to do is um, show you how to make the blue, um, the uh, B units. Very important, we make two at a time, so we need to take our two rectangles and put them right sides together. Line those up right on top of each other. So my two greens will get put right sides together. This pair of greens will also get right sides together. My two whites and my other two whites. As long as those are all put together, we're cutting these exactly the same way. Okay? So I'm just going to work with this one for now. So. We're going to cut our B unit, we go to step two. Align your left edge of your rectangle right along that line, matching up this blunt side of the ruler along the top of your rectangle. And as long as the left side is on to us, um, along the edge of your rectangle and that's at the top, go ahead and cut those apart. Okay, step two, we'll cut the rectangles apart, but step three, we'll trim this little corner right here, this corner and this corner. So it's really important to do both steps when you're working with the B unit. So I'm gonna turn this ruler, and here we're gonna clip the corner of the B unit by lining up the edges of our unit and just nipping off the top of this excess that's hanging off the excess of the ruler. So this line is along here, this line's along there, and we're going to just trim off that little piece. So let me do it again. We're going to turn this, 
we're going to place our step three right along those lines. You see the lines? I'm just going to move them so that they're even with our B unit and trim. Okay? So each of these B units now has a left and a right, as you can see. Okay? So left and right. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with all the right sides first. So when we put these uh, units together, the B to the A, we're just going to bring the B over. Remember that notch we just cut out? Well, that notch is going to sit perfectly right in our, um, same with the alignment of our A unit. And this, and we're going to sew one quarter of an inch straight down, making sure that our green and blue are matched right up along the side. The B unit will be a little bit longer than the A. That's perfectly fine. A little bit wider because remember the last thing we want to do is trim this all down. Okay? So I'm going to match it up along the side and I'm going to go ahead and sew this one quarter of an inch. So let's go do that. So we'll start right up at the top. Always start from that little piece that we cut off and keep it, keep holding on to this so they're right on top of each other. Whoops. And off, okay. So now we've done the right sides and go ahead, you can do all the right sides to them. And what we're going to do is always press toward the B unit. So we're going to press this away from the A toward the B. So one more pressing. So a little bit of heat. Hold on to your A unit and push away that B unit. Make sure you have a nice press going straight down that line. Okay. You ready to go do the other side? Okay. So now we have the left sides. So the left, remember the wide side goes to the wide side to the wide side. All the narrow points come down to one corner. So what we're going to do now is take the left side, we're going to match it up along the top of our A unit and straight down the edge and we're going to sew that one quarter of an inch straight down. But because it's on the left side, it makes it very hard to use our quarter inch foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and now I'm able to sew a quarter of an inch down the side. So don't forget to flip it over and sew a quarter of an inch down this side. So here's my my matching up. And one more stitch. Okay. All right. So it's going to come somewhere down into that intersection down here. So again, we're going to go over and press it away from the A unit toward the B unit. So again, so if I'm going toward the B unit, the B unit's on top. Give it just a little bit of heat and push it away. Kind of open, open this piece up to make sure that it's a nice wide opening. Okay, so nice and sharp. Okay, so once you get all eight of these done, we're going to do one more thing with our ruler to get these down to our three and a half unfinished size. The great thing about this ruler is all of the measurements are based on the finished size of your square, of your unit. So we are making three inch finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim based on the three inch markings. So first thing we want to do is line up, take our little trim point right here. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little arrow right here. This little arrow inside the seam allowance matches up with the point of our A unit. 
All right, so we're gonna put that right in the corner of our A unit, just like that, and make sure that this line is straight into the corner of our A. So let's line that up from here. It's in that little point, straight down to the corner. Now we can go ahead and trim those two sides. Don't worry about anything else, just match up the point and the line going into the corner. Okay, so once we've trimmed, remember this includes all our seam allowances and the great thing about the Creative Grid Ruler is that it does have those grippers going around the outsides of our rulers and then every time we need to cut one of our squares it also has the grippers, grippers, grippers. Okay, so we've done trim one and two. We're gonna turn this around. And we're gonna lay our nice trimmed edge right into the three marking. So as you can see, the three has this dashed line going through here and down this way. So now we can trim that side and we are finished with our kitted cornered unit. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so once we get those all done, like I said, we're gonna need Four of our A blues have all the greens for the Bs. So you can get all those done. Two of the blues have those rectangles that are the whites. And two of the green also have the two rectangles that are white. So these are our units. And then we're simply, we're just going to use our directions to put our block together. First thing we want to do is create our center so that we can sew our sides to our center piece. And it basically becomes a nine patch. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What I like to do is when I sew this together is to open up my seams because up into this section, it gets just a little bulky. So when you're putting your two pieces together, um, press your seams open, okay? And that will help with um, trying to keep away some of the bulkiness on these points, all right? So it's pretty, uh, pretty simple this month. Get your borders on. Um, and then starting Saturday, oh, I don't know, what's the date? 15, um, 18th? I'm gonna say it's Saturday the 18th. Uh, you can come in, pick up your kit, uh, purchase your ruler, your kitty cornered ruler. It's a ruler we've never done before um, as far as basics concerned. But again, we did do it last week for intermediate. Um, and you can call on the phone, you can pay for it over the phone, uh, you can come into the store as long as you're wearing your mask, and um, that's it. If you have any questions, of course, you can call our store, 860-793-6639, uh, or you can uh, email Mark, and we can put aside your ruler for you. Um, and again, you can pick up your kit anytime. You can even call us from the parking lot, we'd be more than happy happy to uh, run it out to the car for you. Um, that's it. Please be safe. I miss you and i um, not sure when we're all going to get back together again, uh, but just keep an eye out on your emails and have fun with the block. See you next month.